Hello everyone, I am Glenn and welcome to Travel with Glenn. Join me as we travel to Shabbat. This amazing ancient city in Yemen is known as the Manhattan of the Desert. Shibam boasts towering buildings made entirely of mud brick. For centuries, people here have been building upwards using simple, earthy materials. Join me as we explore the walled city of Shibam, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We'll discover its history, architecture, and the challenges it faces today. Shibam is a place where the past feels very much alive. So let's step inside and uncover the secrets of this ancient skyscraper city. Shubham's story begins centuries ago in the heart of the Hadramaut Valley. This region of Yemen is known for its harsh desert landscape. Shubham emerged as an oasis of prosperity on the incense route. To protect themselves from raiding tribes, the people of Shibam built high walls and raised their homes above the ground. These mud brick towers, some over 100 feet, were fortresses. Shibam is more than just military engineering. It's an example of sustainable living. The building material, mud brick, is made from locally sourced soil, straw, and camel dung. This unique architecture shields its residents from the relentless desert sun. The narrow streets and tall buildings create shade, keeping the city relatively cool. Shabam is a city designed to coexist with its environment. It's a testament to human ingenuity and endurance. To understand Shabam, we need to go back to its roots. Shabam sat right on the incense route, a network of trade routes connecting the Mediterranean with Arabia, India, and beyond. Caravans laden with precious goods passed through Shabam, bringing wealth and the hope of prosperity. But this strategic location also made Shabam a target for raiders. The people of Shabam became masters of defense, building their city like a fortress. These mud brick towers became a symbol of Shabam's strength and resilience. The choice of mud brick as the primary building material was both practical and ingenious. In the heart of the desert, clay was abundant. Mixed with straw and water, this humble material was transformed into a building block that could withstand the test of time. The process of making mud bricks was labor intensive, requiring skill and patience. These bricks were then carefully laid to create the walls and towers that define Shabam's skyline. The thick walls provided excellent insulation, keeping interiors cool during scorching days and warm during chilly nights. The earth itself became a shield against the extremes of the environment. Shibam's architecture is truly remarkable. Imagine walking through a city where buildings rise upwards like ancient giants. Some of these towers reach heights of over 100 feet. Unlike modern skyscrapers, Shabam's towers are made entirely from the earth beneath them. Look closely and you'll see intricate designs and patterns adorning the upper floors. Windows are framed with elaborate wooden screens, adding elegance to the facades. These details remind us that Shabam was a place of beauty and prosperity. The views from the top are simply breathtaking. Shabam's architects were masters of climate control. The towers create shade, keeping interiors relatively cool. The streets are narrow, allowing sunlight to filter down in slivers. The thick mud brick walls act like natural insulation, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it slowly at night. Windows are strategically placed to catch cool breezes 
while wind shafts draw hot air up and out. As the sun sets, the city comes alive with residents enjoying the cooler evening air. Terraces become outdoor living rooms under the starry desert sky. Life in Shai Bam revolves around these towers. They're more than just homes, they're vertical communities. The ground floors are typically used for storage or workshops, while the upper floors house living spaces. Families often occupy multiple levels, connected by staircases and ladders. Shared spaces like courtyards and rooftops foster a strong sense of community. Neighbors look out for one another, sharing resources and supporting each other. The Towers of Shabam are a testament to the enduring spirit of the Yemeni people. Shibam is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a place where ancient traditions and cultural practices have been preserved for centuries. The city's unique vertical design has shaped social interactions and cultural norms. Step into Shibam and you'll be greeted by a vibrant tapestry of life. The air is filled with the sounds of chatter, the aroma of spices, and the sights of artisans practicing their crafts. Family and community are paramount in Shibam. Traditional music and dance play an integral role in Shibam's cultural heritage. Festivals and celebrations are marked by vibrant performances expressing the soul of the Yemeni people. Life in Shibam has its own unique rhythm. The towers shape the flow of daily life from the early morning call to prayer to evening gatherings on rooftops. The day begins early, with residents emerging to the sounds of life stirring in the narrow streets. Shopkeepers open their stores, and the aroma of fresh bread and spices fills the air. Water, a precious commodity, is carefully collected and shared. Women gather at communal wells, exchanging news and gossip. Maintenance is a communal effort, with residents working together to repair the mud brick walls. The people of Shabam are the guardians of their unique architectural and cultural heritage. They understand the importance of preserving their ancestral traditions for future generations. The skills required to build and maintain these mud brick towers have been passed down through centuries. Today, Shabam faces numerous challenges, from erosion to modern conflicts. Local communities are working tirelessly to safeguard their heritage, collaborating with international organizations like UNESCO. There's a growing awareness among the younger generation of the importance of preserving their unique heritage. Shabam stands as a powerful symbol of human resilience and the enduring bond between people and place. Shabam's mud brick towers face a constant enemy, the relentless desert environment. Wind, rain, and the cycle of heat and cold erode the mud brick. Rain, though infrequent, can be torrential, transforming streets into rivers and causing the mud brick to soften and crumble. For centuries, the people of Shabam have battled these elements, developing traditional techniques for maintenance and repair. After each rainstorm, residents band together to repair damaged walls. This ongoing maintenance is labor-intensive and requires constant vigilance. It's a testament to the resilience and determination of the Shabami people. As Shabam enters the 21st century, it faces new challenges from modernization. The desire for improved living conditions can conflict with the need to preserve the city's architectural heritage. The introduction of concrete and cement can detract from Shabam's authenticity. Modern infrastructure can damage the historic fabric of the buildings. Finding a balance between preservation and progress is crucial for Shabam's future. Local authorities and international organizations are working to develop sensitive restoration methods. 
The goal is to ensure Shabam continues to thrive as a living city while retaining its architectural charm. The ongoing conflict in Yemen poses a significant threat to Shibam. The country's political instability and civil war have had a devastating impact on its people and cultural heritage. The conflict has made it difficult to carry out essential preservation work. The security situation poses a risk to preservation experts and aid workers. UNESCO has designated Shabam as a World Heritage Site in danger. Despite these challenges, there is hope. International organizations and local communities are working tirelessly to protect Shabam, documenting its history and raising awareness of its significance. Today, Shabam stands at a crossroads. It's a city caught between a rich past and an uncertain future. The challenges are real, from nature's ravages to human conflict. Yet, the spirit of Shabam endures, carried by its people. Peace and stability are essential for the city to heal and rebuild. Until then, the focus remains on protecting Shabam's heritage. Even amidst uncertainty, there is hope. Their dedication is a testament to human resilience. Shabam's ancient towers continue to rise, symbols of endurance and ingenuity. Shibam's story is a timely reminder that even in a world increasingly dominated by steel and glass, there is much we can learn from the past. The city's ancient towers, constructed from the earth itself, stand as a testament to the power of sustainable living, community collaboration, and the enduring bond between people in place. Architects and urban planners are looking to Shibam for inspiration, studying its unique approach to climate control, its efficient use of space, and its ability to create a sense of community in a dense urban environment. The lessons learned from Shibam can inform the design of more sustainable and resilient cities for the future. But Shabam's legacy extends far beyond the realm of architecture. It's a story that speaks to the power of human ingenuity, the importance of preserving cultural heritage, and the need to find harmonious solutions to the challenges facing our planet. Shabam's ancient towers, rising from the desert floor, serve as a powerful symbol of human resilience, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we have the capacity to create, innovate, and build a future worth inheriting. It's a story that deserves to be told, preserved, and shared with generations to come. As we leave the walled city of Shibam, we carry with us images that will forever be etched in our memories. Those towering mud brick structures rising from the desert floor like ancient sentinels stand as a powerful testament to human ingenuity. Shibam is a place where the past feels alive, where the echoes of ancient caravans and the whispers of generations past linger in the wind. It's a city that has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of trade, and the constant dance between humanity and nature. We've walked through its narrow streets, felt the cool shade of its towering walls, and witnessed the daily rhythms of life that have remained unchanged for centuries. We've seen the skillful hands of craftsmen preserving ancient building techniques and the determined spirit of a community working together to protect its unique heritage. Shabam is a reminder that progress doesn't have to come at the expense of the past, that sustainable living is not a modern invention, but a practice honed over generations, and that the most enduring structures are often those built not with steel and concrete, but with the very earth beneath our feet. From this vantage point, we can appreciate the fragility 
of Shibam's existence. The desert, whose embrace has both sheltered and challenged this city for centuries, is a constant reminder of the delicate balance between humanity and nature. The ongoing conflict in Yemen casts a long shadow over Shibam's future, threatening to overshadow its rich history and architectural splendor. Yet, even in the face of uncertainty, there is hope. The people of Shibam, like the ancestors before them, remain resilient, determined to preserve their heritage and pass it on to future generations. Their efforts, supported by the international community, offer a glimmer of hope that Shibam's story is far from over. As we leave Shibam, we carry with us a profound sense of responsibility. The world must know about this architectural treasure and the challenges it faces. We must share Shibam's story as a call to action. The preservation of Shibam requires a global effort. It demands support for the local communities working tirelessly to maintain their heritage. It necessitates a commitment to peace and stability in Yemen. Let us not allow this architectural marvel to fade into the desert sands. Shibam stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity. Join us tomorrow for another daily location fact. Today's fact was brought to you by the number 54. Keep discovering with Travel with Glenn and uncover the world's hidden stories one place at a time. Travel far and wide, let's take flight See the world's wonders day and night From sandy beaches to mountain peaks Every adventure, a memory we keep